What's up my party people? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am full glam in a bathrobe and my two buck chuck. We be classy. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. The ice makes it extra classy. My favorite thing of all to do is just be glam and just hang out at home in a bathrobe. <laughs> I hope you guys dig my humor as much as I do because I crack myself Welcome you guys back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Trader Joe's haul for you. I filmed this video already, like done totally kaput, like complete package and the sound was not on. So I'm redoing it. I did a whole new haul because I refused to take everything out and <laughs> do the haul again. So we came back from Palm Springs and I'm so refreshed. It was so just like amazing. But we are back. We are so happy. I'm so pumped. We like needed tons of groceries. So I made a big haul to Trader Joe's and I got some new stuff that I haven't even tried and I'm so excited to share it with you. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I cannot go to Trader Joe's without getting flowers. Richard literally just got me flowers at Costco. Trader Joe's is a way better price by the way. But I was like, well, I'm doing a haul so I should probably get more flowers, babe. So I got these flowers and I always get pink and they're usually roses. So I've got like kind of a peachy pinky color and then like a pinky pinky color. Like six bucks for 12 of them. So you cannot really go wrong. Trader Joe's flowers are the best. My kids love these honey wheat pretzel sticks. They're so yummy. Back in the day before I was all about eating the healthy life, um, I would dip these in Nutella and they were like so good. Next thing I got, they always have like the coolest little plants and things. This was $3 but it's this hyacinth. It looks like this flower. So pretty and it's like this little bulb and I think maybe you can plant this out in your yard after it's done, but it's really cool because it's in this water so you can see all the roots. I thought it was extra pretty special. You know, only three bucks too. I got one for my mom. It's like, not that I'm cheap about getting stuff for my mom, but I know she would appreciate it because they were really cute looking. And my mom is a plant freak, so. These are something that we have never tried. They are Bamba peanut snacks. I was kind of just looking in all the aisles like at everything and I was looking at this one and one of the workers was like, do you want to try those? So I was like, yeah. She's like, they're kind of like a peanut Cheeto, like not salty, not heavy. She's like, they're really light, just like peanut flavor. And I was like, mm, Cheetos love, mm, peanuts love. And she let us try them and they are, they're like a Cheeto, but like really light fluffy and they're peanut flavored. I could eat this whole bag, by the way. Um, they're 160 calories per serving and there's three servings per bag. There's no added sugar, I think. It says total sugar is less than a gram, so that is a really good sign because sugar is a big thing for me not to eat too much of. And I'm also trying to have healthy snacks on hand that Richard can eat because he's really particular with his braces because everything hurts his teeth. These are nice and light and fluffy and there's something that he can grab at night instead of his Sour Patch. Shh, don't tell him I told you. I got two bags of those because we're a big family and so everything has to be in bulk. I also got some sugar plum tomatoes. These are really yummy. I eat these a lot in my salads and meals in the crock pot for anything. You can like have them and like put them on top of avocado toast and egg. Oh, so good. So yummy. Gives that little bit of like um, acidity, acidity to a, like a meal. So I really do like these. So I got a little container of those. By the way, don't put your tomatoes in the fridge because it makes them last longer and they don't get shriveled up if they're out of the fridge. So that's a little um, tip for you. I I'm going to try this. I haven't tried it yet, but it's an organic lemon ginger herbal flavored water. Refreshing lemon and gen ginger natural flavors. It's basically zero everything. It just has lemon extract and this all organic and ginger extract and citric acid. This was like $1.69 for this bottle, so it's not like the cheapest thing ever. But if you're like me and you're trying to be healthy and every once in a while you need like something that kind of gets you through to the next meal, that you're just like, I like I need something. So I'm really excited to try this because I love lemon and I love ginger. So this looked really good to me. So I got two of these. Mmm, Zinfandel break. By the way, this is Charles Shaw, White Sinfandel, that I saw as we were checking out. I am such not like an expensive wine drinker. No. 
Next up, I got some roasted and unsalted sunflower seeds. These, for some reason, looked really good to me. Like, I think I can put them, like, on top of... I just... Sometimes I really need something crunchy in a meal, especially if, like, a lot of it's, like, sautéed vegetables or something. You can put this on top and add a little bit of crunch and also to, like, salads and stuff. So this is... And also just, like, a really, like, healthy snack, too. I love Trader Joe's for their fun drinks that I can have that are healthy and don't give you any calories or anything, but they're also not like sweetened with anything bad for you. This is matcha green tea. Matcha green tea is actually really good for you. There's all these studies about like the good benefits of green tea. So I like to get a couple cans of these and keep these in my refrigerator ready to drink when I want a little something something. I got a couple peppers because I love peppers in our meals. Trader Joe's is amazing because they have these compostable plastic bags. I don't even know if they're actually plastic. I'm not sure what they're made out of, but they have on here that they are compostable, and I am obsessed with that. That is amazing. I just, I love, like, okay, we're, we're in, like, a technology age. Like, they need to be coming up with some stuff that can be saving our resources. So I love that. It's amazing. Yay. So I got a couple peppers. I got a bottle of hand sanitizer after traumatic watching my kids like lick their hands and stuff as we're going to the airport and oh my goodness traveling with four children you just kind of have to let like some things go a little bit but I got some hand sanitizer to help out so yeah that'll be going into my purse because I didn't have any in my purse handy if we do have any type of like parfait or cereal or anything like that I will have this high fiber cereal it's like uh, Trader Joe's version of Fiber One. So I really like this. Hugh actually held this up to me and I was like, oh, this looks kind of good too. It is um, multi-grain spoonfuls. So it kind of looks like, I'm not going to think of the word right now. Checks? Is that what I'm thinking? And it kind of looks like that, but it has like the same amount of sugar as the Fiber One or the high fiber cereal here. It's five grams of sugar and this is also five grams of sugar so it doesn't have as much fiber but I was thinking this would be nice to kind of mix it up a little bit and then Richard likes to have cereal sometimes at night so I thought if I put this in the pantry and have like kind of a healthier option that would really help him out to have some things that were like healthier. These are organic coconut sesame seed clusters. They're amazing. They're so 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 yummy. They're actually really pretty healthy for you too. The only thing is, is there's not a whole lot in here, but these are really nice to have in the pantry if you just really have the munchies and you need something. These are so good. I got these three seed beet crackers. If you look around at Trader Joe's nowadays, they have a lot of beet things. It's like the new thing. So I got a box of these. I got a box of these for my original Trader Joe's haul and we all were obsessed with them. So I got another box because they were so, so good. So if you haven't tried these three seed beet crackers you definitely need to because they're delicious. I got these pear halves for Stella. These were something that she had her eye on. She loves pears so we got her a can of these. So this will probably be her little snack rooney for lunch times or whatnot. Like pears and cottage cheese is so good. Such a good snack. I also saw these roasted cocoa nibs. I've never tried these but I've heard about these. So I haven't actually heard if they're good or they're bad or whatnot, but I have heard of them. I can't remember why or where or what, but it says you can use them in baking. You can add them to coffee or have them as a crunchy snack. Sprinkle on yogurt or ice cream or add a few to your morning oatmeal. And yeah, they look like kind of just a healthy little snack to have. Roasted cocoa nibs. All right, so I got these crispy chickpeas. I didn't realize that they're ranch seasoning, but there's only two grams of sugar. I talk about sugar a lot because that is like the first thing that I look for is make sure that there's no like a crazy amount of sugar. It looks like it does have cane sugar in there, but I guess not very much, but these look really good. Anything like crunchy and salty, I am all about. So yeah, these look delicious. Did you guys know that like chickpeas are the same thing as garbanzo beans? So if you didn't know that, I know it's kind of confusing because like you go and you get like cans of garbanzo beans, but the recipe calls for chickpeas. You're like, these look just like them. 
but yeah, I think I think they're pretty much the same thing. I could be wrong. We also really like Trader Joe's cold brew coffee, and this is a cold brew coffee concentrate that's coconut. So it's naturally flavored, and yeah, it looked really good to us. Like coconut and coffee, I love coconut, so this looked really good to me. So I'm excited to try this. This is what the bottle looks like. If you follow me on Insta Stories, you probably have seen me cook with cauliflower rice lots and lots of times. I always have to get two bags when I get them from Trader Joe's because the bags are kind of smaller and we be a big family. Love them for a million recipes. You just substitute it for rice in a recipe. So good. I like to get these shredded carrots from Trader Joe's as well. There's just something about shredded carrots that is so good and sweet and crunchy and I love them on salad. So I will go through a bag probably in a week, but they're delicious and I love this from Trader Joe's as well. I got a bag of this organic rainbow cauliflower. This looks just so fun. Anything to make healthy living more fun and exciting and interesting, I will do. I think the kids are really going to love these because they're fun and colorful. I love having my freezer stocked with yummy healthy vegetables that I'm going to have ready at any time. I got a couple bags of this mashed cauliflower. I don't know where the other bag is. It's in here somewhere. This is also something really not else that I this is also something else that I really like to have in our freezer that is so good and so yummy and just you can just microwave it and it's boom, there's your mashed potatoes. Another freezer thing that I love to have in my freezer is sweet potato fries. We love having these. This is our little treat that we will have sometimes and it's just they're delicious and so so good. I also got some more spiraled carrots and spiraled zucchini. These are also a really great pasta substitute. My kids favorite is the carrot because it's sweeter so they do love this but it's nice to have both to have a little bit of variety because if you have one too much it gets a little old. So both of these are so good and so nice to have just ready to go. I mean you just cook them just kind of thaw them out and they're so easy. Season them, add your favorite lean meat or whatnot. So good. I am a huge shrimp fan. I, Me and my daughter, Evela, we both love shrimp so much. It's delicious. I haven't tried this shrimp from Trader Joe's, but these were calling my name. They're jumbo, yummy shrimp. You don't cook these because they're already cooked. You just thaw them out. This would be really nice to have like on salad, which is pictured. So I'm excited to have like a yummy, lemony, garlicky salad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sounds so good. I got four bottles of kombucha to have stocked in my refrigerator. This is something that I will probably have daily like after lunch. There's something about it that is so satisfying and it fills me up and kind of like curbs that sweet tooth that I have. I don't know what it is about it, but it's like a little bit sweet and it's a little bit carbonated or I don't even know if it's carbonated. I think it's just a natural way that it is. But it's so good. It just hits that spot after lunch. So I love this Dr. Brew, or Brew Doctor. Sorry, it's actually brewed in Portland. So I really like getting this brand because of that. And it is ridiculously good. So this one is the lemon, ginger, and cayenne. I love having this baby kale mix in my refrigerator. I will have this for salad a lot during the lunch, during the lunch week, during the week. I will just, when I do it, I will put a dressing on there, but if it's not oily enough, I'll take olive oil and I'll kind of massage it over it and it makes it so much easier to eat and so much yummier. So that is a little trick too. If you have a hard time eating kale, try doing that and see if that helps. I got a bag of the organic green beans. This is so good for a meal. If you just spread this out over a cookie sheet or baking sheet and then put salmon on top and then do like pesto and tomatoes, like the little cherry tomatoes, and you cover that up and you bake it, oh, it's like one and done meal. It's so delicious and so healthy. So the next time you're at Trader Joe's, grab some green beans and make yourself some salmon and green bean dinner. I got some of this reduced guilt chunky guacamole that's made with Greek yogurt. This is what it looks like. This stuff is super yummy and it's really, really good. Super yummy and really good. I don't know how many ways I can say it, but it's really good. This is awesome too because it doesn't go bad as quick as other guacamole because I think of the, because it has the Greek yogurt in there. So like you don't have to eat the whole container in one sitting for it, you know, before it goes bad. <laughs> whole family really likes this too, but I love salad. Like I love guacamole on toast. I love it on my eggs. I love it on my salad. I love it on any like Mexican dish. I love having this in my refrigerator. I saw some like, what are these called? 
it says organic microgreens, but they're like the, I can't think of what they're actually called, but they're like the Brussels, not Brussels sprouts. What are they called? Sprouts. This is what they look like. So I saw these like on avocado toast and I was like, this looks so good. And I've had them on sandwiches and stuff like way back in the day before. So I'm really excited to try these and have these be kind of something like to spice up my everyday meals, you know? So they're supposed to be like really good for you too. It says they're packed with nutrients and flavor. So I'm excited and they're kind of like a little bit crunchy. I love using these sweet potato ribbons on top of my salads. They're just something fun and different to have. And sweet potatoes are so good for you and these are nice because you're not like grating up your own sweet potatoes so these are nice and just ready to eat i'm also obsessed with this vegan kale cashew and basil pesto it's so good to put on your chicken on your cauliflower rice this is just like an amazing meal you can just do your zucchini spirals your chicken and put this on top and like boom you're done it's so delicious too i'm obsessed with this I really like these chopped up vegetables that you can use, it says, as a starter for soups, stews, sautés, and sauces, but it's basically just chopped up celery, carrots, and onions, so you can do it like in a bajillion different types of soups, and it's like it does all the chopping up for you ahead of time, so I really do like having this. I will get this and keep this in my refrigerator for lots of different types of meals. It's so good and so nice and just comes in handy. Another thing that I really like to have in our freezer is this brown rice. It's so nice because it comes in like three different bags and you can just microwave it and it's ready in three minutes. And it's so good and healthy and the kids really love it. So having this on hand is a must. It's so good. I got a couple of treats for the kids. We've tried these. These are amazing. The best ice cream sandwiches. So good. They're like cookie ice cream sandwiches, so they're ice cream in between two cookies and rolled in chocolate chips. And then we haven't had these before. I don't know if these are new or what, but they're 12 mini mint ice cream mouthfuls. They basically look like mint Oreos, but with ice cream. So I'm going to live vicariously through the kids and just kind of like smell them when they eat them. I'm the weird mom that's smelling my kids' food because I can't eat it myself. I got kimchi for myself. This is I will have this at night for a snack if I just really, really need something to satisfy. I'll also get Trader Joe's kosher pickles. I forgot to pick those up, but I really do like those. They're like these little mini pickles. So good. So I'll have either kosher pickles or I'll have kimchi if I'm really just needing something extra at night when I just got the munchies. So if you don't like kimchi, you don't like kimchi, but I just tell people they just haven't tried it enough. If you eat something enough, you get to like it. This is kimchi for you and it's so good for you. I feel like I buy everything at Trader Joe's in twos because we're a big family so we need two of everything. But this cauliflower pizza is delicious. I will get this. There's like a cauliflower crust and then there's a cauliflower pizza, like cheese pizza like this. And what I'll do is I'll actually add like olives or peppers and then maybe like some sort of meat on top of it. And it's so delicious. You can eat it just like this and it's good too, but we love to add stuff to it and make it like a little just fancier. But yeah, cauliflower pizza is delicious. My whole family loves it. They're like, we can't even tell the difference between this and regular pizza. So yes, love having this for when we want to have pizza night. I also really like this lemon rosemary chicken. You can put this whole chicken, it's already marinated. You just put it like in the crock pot. That's how I cooked it. And it was literally just like falling apart. It was so juicy and moist and delicious. It was amazing. So this chicken is so, so good. But yeah, it's the lemon rosemary chicken. And it's the whole chicken. So you put the whole chicken in the crock pot. I'm also obsessed with chicken sausage. And this chicken sausage is so good. It is the sun-dried tomato with basil and tomatoes in it. And it's so, so yummy, like with a pasta type of dish. I also think I got like the apple one that's really good for breakfast. You can like slice it and just um, fry it like on a pan or whatever with some olive oil. So good for breakfast. Um, but this one is like more of a, like a dinner one and then the apple one I like to have for the breakfast. But these are so good. I love something that's different that's not like just like having chicken or you know what I mean like salmon and just like the same like chicken gets old so it's this is still chicken but it's sausage so it's different it's different it counts so it's really nice to have something I'll get like the big thing at Costco too and I'll put that in the freezer just so we have it on hand but I really do like this from Trader Joe's as well so I wanted to show that to you guys 
Okay, you guys, I think I'm all done. Um, I tried to get like everything that we get, but I know that there was stuff that we still had at home, so I didn't want to like rebuy it. But I wanted to show you some like good ideas and give you some just kind of inspiration and some just ideas to go when you go to Trader Joe's and get some kind of different stuff. I hope you guys really like this video and yay Trader Joe's. It's like Trader Joe's just makes everything better. They make shopping fun and like, I don't know, everything is just so fun and yummy and mm, I just can't wait to cook with stuff and drink my little drinks and it's just amazing.